All right, this tip is for those of you that use keyboard commands for channels. Uh, when you're either trying to view channels, or let's say you're using an adjustment layer like a curves adjustment or something like that, and trying to get to the channels just to be able to see them. So in the past, before uh, Photoshop CS4, we used to use, let's say, Control on Windows, Command on Mac, tilde one, two, three to be able to see the channels. Now here's what I'm talking about. If I come down here to the channels panel, I love saying that, you'll see that they, they changed in Photoshop CS4. They're now control or command on Mac, two, three, four, five. So literally hitting that, control two, three, four, five, you can see I can cycle through the channels, right? Now, same thing goes if I go to my layers panel, let's say, and I do some kind of adjustment, let's say like a curves adjustment or something like that. And I take a look, we'll see that the channels in here, we've got the the tone right here, RGB, and then we've got the individual channels. Same kind of thing, Alt, 2, 3, 4, 5. It used to be Alt, tilde, 1, 2, 3. Now, if we want to put that back, that destroys me, to be honest. I, I'm, I'm an old salt in Photoshop, and every time I hit Control-1, you know, something like that, I come out here, I get actual pixels. If you guys take a look under View, you're going to see actual pixels. So if you want to set that back the way it used to be in Photoshop CS5, meaning you want to set it back to pre-CS4 in Photoshop CS5, if you come up to edit, come to keyboard shortcuts down at the way down at the bottom down here, you're going to see, oddly enough, use legacy channel shortcuts. Now, if you guys are in Photoshop CS4, there is something that you can use, and I'll show you that in just a second. But then what I do typically is, I'm, for myself, you guys, I want to save this because I, I tend to change my own. So I'll save myself a shortcut keyboard list here. I'll call it Brian or whatever. And I'll click Save. That, that just gives me a copy, basically. I'll click OK. Now, if you take a look at Channels over here, you're going to see once you turn that on, it's not going to change. I need to restart Photoshop. Okay, so once I restart, I can get that to show up. So let me close it. By the way, I'll show you this in a second. That's what we're going to talk about. Good old John Knack, great guy. Uh, let me open up Photoshop again. I'll open up that picture once again, or a picture, rather. Maybe. Take a look at channels, and there we go. Control tilde, one, two, three. And if I do a curves adjustment, let's say, and I can use my shortcut for that, but I'll just slap it this way. You can see, alt tilde, one, two, three. Now, you will see under view here, we'll see actual picture, pixels. We're going to see control one. So, anyway, you got to gotta kind of be careful with what you're doing out here. Um, if you're looking at channels or whatever, because there can be certain conflicts with certain things. But that's a great little way to get it back to where it was. Now, if you guys are pre-CS5, meaning you're in Photoshop CS4, if you go to this website, this is John Knack's blog, and you guys can just search for, what I did was I just searched for uh, Knack uh, Legacy Shortcuts or CS5 Channels or something like that. You'll see here that I can totally, you know, um, he's the one that came up with this, or, or at least that, you know, let it be known. You guys can see right here that we actually have the ability in CS4 to install a plugin or a registry entry so you guys can do the same thing, which is cool. So anyway, thanks to John for that. But there you go. That's it. That's being able to change your channel shortcuts so you guys can work with them like pre-CS4.